Here, a curator in a museum far away tries to lay out the exhibition of pop and rock music. Supported by Ragrug, wearing the HoloLens and running the MoPop application, he sets up the virtual exhibition environment. A second screen application on the mobile phone allows the user to enter the manipulation mode and to save all changes. Hand dragging gestures are used for manual setup. Using the command line interface, we can access any object. The curator adapts the background color of charts to increase visibility. By picking up a record, its attributes are revealed to the curator. A record is easily placed on the exhibition wall where the leader lines point to the location on the timeline. Adaptation to an object can be performed at any time, allowing for in situ authoring. More and more records are picked and placed completing the exhibition. Visualizations like the score, chart, and year distributions support the curator's decision making. The target is to chronologically fill the exhibition walls by taking the year, the genre, and the number of copies sold into account. Furthermore, records can be compared using a table and bar chart visualization to further support decision making. We performed a user study of 16 participants, where they played the curator and tried to create the best possible exhibition. Within the performed user study, we allowed participants to perform tasks like hanging or placing records onto walls to generate a nice exhibition. One time, using the HoloLens and data set of 100 records acting as reference, and secondary on the iPad, using a different data set of 100 records. The target is to increase the computed score by populating the rock and pop wall with records accordingly. Here, the participants wearing the HoloLens 2 is looking for records and sorting them by interest. Once he has chosen one, he can hang the record on the preferred wall to gain more points. This is the view shown by the HoloLens. Green leader lines represent correct year placements. Purple leader lines represent conflicts. The gray areas show data of the records. The same goes for the pop wall. To compensate for drift over time, the participant can look at the pop art to realign the wall. Furthermore, he can check his score on the score wall, being placed on the back side of the room, which is actually 29. The selected record is tracked and visualized. By pressing the select button, it turns yellow. It's selected, and therefore, it can be placed onto the wall. In this case, the participant decides to put the Elton John cover onto the rock wall. Once the record is placed, it turns green and the score is updated. Here, we see the participant looking through covers using the mobile analytics version running on the iPad. Once the cover is scanned, its information is updated. Placement works the same as on the HoloLens. But the participants have to overcome an ergonomics issue, missing a third hand for touch interaction. A participant being instructed to the initial tasks, which directly transition into the study to continue populating the wall as preferred. Overall, we had 20 participants, where only one participant was a big outlier by overperforming on the iPad and underperforming on the HoloLens. The following recordings show participants performing the study in alternating order with alternating datasets, either on the HoloLens or the iPad. They were allowed to ask questions and to perform as they like. The free fill time took 20 minutes per mode.